Hello! In the previous lesson, we created the search section and also the project title, which is what we have here. In this lesson, we'll be working on the project listing section, where we'll have all the projects on our dashboard. Let's see how that works. Moving to our HTML, what we need to do right now is to declare our div container for all the listing. And for us to do that, we can have our nested div inside the main container or the main section. Let's see how that works. I'm just going to have the project list as a class. So inside this project list is where we are going to have all the projects. And for us to have a very clean project segmentation, we need to also still wrap the project in a div. And let's see how we can do that. We're just going to call project class. So this is where each of the projects are going to leave. But for us to still understand what we are doing, let's leave a comment. So I'm just going to call it project list. Let's copy to the end. We're just going to say end. Okay, so with this, no matter how long the mockup inside this nested div, we can tell the beginning and the closing tag. If we look at our mockup or look at our prototype, what we have first is the name or the name of the project. But one thing we need to cater for as well is this very tag. Well, it can be color tag, it can be name tag, however it is. But what we have in this very design is just color. So let's leave a div or a span. It can be a div, it can be a span. But I think let's go for the div. We're just going to use the class of category. Category is spelled wrongly. Just put the E there. So this is what we are going to use to style the color. The next is we want to declare the header, which is going to be H2. Then if you look at what we have in the H2, it is going to be graphic design. After the H2, we need to check the project last visit. So we can add that in a P tag, just right under the H1. So we can just say active recently. If you check our code, you can see that it's gaining shape gradually. The next thing we want to cater for is this listing. For us to do that, let's go for the UL, so we're just going to say UL, then LI, it should be LI. So let's give a UL class of activity. Then we can give, let's see what is written. Coming soon banner, we have coming soon banner, then we also have book cover. You can see that we have it updated. After we have the listing, what we need to cater for again are the images and also this very button. What we can do is to declare another div still inside the project container. So we can give that like metadata. Inside this is where we are going to have all the images and we're going to also have the button. Let's try to group the images and let's just say contributors.
how this grouping are going to become very handy when we get to CSS. In this first one, we have like three images. I already populated my asset folder with like eight images, so we're just going to make use of it. So let's call out the image. So let's call on the image tag. I'm just going to say assets. Let's pick the first one. Let's see if we can reduce it a bit. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to duplicate this into three places and just update the images. Now we need to reference the button. And for us to do that, let's just use span. Then let's copy the class from this. We're using the Google icon. We're just going to paste the class here. Then we want to choose more vert icon, which is this. So this is the tree dot that we have here. So if you look at what we have right now, we have a project. It's looking this way because we are here to style it. But if you look at all the structure with Kita for almost everything, we have the header, then we have the last visit, then we have list of activities, followed by the images, and finally we have the button. The next thing for us to do right now is to duplicate this very project so that we can have multiple projects. And to do this, we can just highlight the project segment. Now to highlight the project segment, I think it would be ideal for us to still leave comments on this project so that it's easy to identify. So we can just call this project, project one. Let's try to end it. Just say project one end. Okay, this look cool. So once I have it like this, I can then start duplicating. So we can just add to this one project two and project two. So what we need to be looking for right now are the data changes. The next one is going to have magazine. So let's change the title to magazine. Magazine. Then it visited one hour ago. Let's look at the test. So we have editorial page content editorial page content. So it seems we only have one line for this one. And how many images do we have? We just have two. So let's delete one. And let's just update this one to four and five. Just to have different images. Moving forward, Let's duplicate this as well so that we can have our third project. We're just going to update this one to be third project. This as well, third project. Let's check what the title look like. This is layout in. Layout in. Let's see how we can update that. I'm just going to call it layout in. Let's see when it was visited. One day ago. We're just going to have one day ago. The test that we have is fixed layout on the page ads. So let's just update that. We're going to have fixed layout page. Oh, is that what is there? Fixed layout on page ad. Fixed layout on page ad. So let's just have ads. That's cool. If we check the images, we only have one image. So let's remove one. We're just going to make this one five. 
we check it. Uh, this is giving us five. Let's make this one six. This will have different image, which is cool. The next thing we want to do is to cater for the fourth project. Fourth project is branding. And we have brainstorming shape. And it was visited three days ago. I'm just going to duplicate this. Let's update this to four. Four as well. We can just say branding. It was visited three days ago. Then let's see what we can do. Then let's have brain storming ships. We need area. Let's change the image to image six. Let's see if that works. Let's change it to seven. Okay. Let's cater for our project five. We're going to have five here and five at the end. Let's see what we have on the project five. We have guidelines. Then it was visited five days ago. So we're just going to have guidelines. E is missing here. Visited five days ago. Then we're going to have make brand guideline. For Mac, cosmetics. Let's see if we can change the image to number eight. In fact, let's see how many images we have. We have two images, so let's duplicate this one. And maybe let's give it number one or two again. Just so we have two images. Cool. So let's get her for our number six image. Let's change this to six. We have photo shoots. Let's change this to photo shoot. And let's see the day it was visited one week ago. One week ago. Then for the message, we have get the photo ready for magazine. Get the photo ready for magazine. Let's look at the number of images. We have three images. Let's just duplicate this one to make it three images. But this time around, let's have five, let's have six, and let's have one. You can see that we have three images. And we have six projects in total. And that's how we wrapped up for this one. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how to create this section where we are going to embed our map and also cater for these two subsections. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.